Okay, so I wasn't able to book the real Kermit to come into studio today to talk to us about the new Oris Pro Pilot Kermit Edition. He's had to make a little bit more time for himself, have a bit more me time, but we were able to book his stunt double, Clyde. How are you, Clyde? Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us today. How you doing? Okay, he's not a big talker, but that's okay, because I can do the talking. Today, we have in one of the most playful watches of 2023, the Oris Pro Pilot X Kermit Edition. And honestly, I think this is one of the most special watches I've seen and I've been able to be hands-on with. For those of you who don't know much about this watch yet, this is Oris teaming up with Disney to give us a watch with some serious, no-nonsense specifications in an adorable and fun package. So we've got the titanium case, the movement, and the specifications of the Oris Pro Pilot X, meeting the color palette of Kermit the Frog and a little Kermit in the date window for the first day of the month. In my humble opinion, this is a collaboration done right. This is a collaboration done perfectly. This is both of these brands perfectly represented in a timepiece where it is joyful and playful without going overboard into the land of being kitsch. When this first came out, I thought this would be fun if they took the Muppets thing a little bit further, if there was a different Muppet every day of the month. But you know, I've come around on that, and I think just having Kermit at the first is just right. You have the first day of the month being special, with the visit from Kermit for Kermit Day, but the date remains functional every other day. Or if you want it to be Kermit every day, you can easily just keep it as him. But the gimmick isn't overpowering. Let's look at the specifications of this watch. And I'm actually gonna need some help with this. I have a friend I'm gonna call up who actually knows Kermit. He's actually met Kermit and will talk. What do you want? Hello? Oh, hey, Oscar, it's Britt. From the Watch Review channel, Britt Pierce, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, hey, Britt. I love your channel. Ah, uh, thank you. I'm so glad you love the channel. I just love trash. And your channel, it is just my kind of garbage. Wow. I feel great about myself. Now, Oscar, we have the Oris Kermit watch in for review right now. And I know you've met Kermit a couple of times when he was a guest on Sesame Street. Mm -hmm. And I was hoping you could help us out with some of the specifications. Yeah, that's no worries. I know a ton about this one. Well, first thing you should know, this watch isn't to my taste. It's a bit too nice and not garbage enough for me. This watch has a 39.3 millimeter titanium case. It is 11 millimeters thick and has a lug to lug of 46.1 millimeters. Here it is on Britt's five and a half inch wrist and her husband's 6.5 inch wrist. Honestly, I think it looks great on both of them, but it's probably a bit too large for Britt and it looks far better on her husband. Another reason I hate this watch is the specifications are far too good for me with 100 meters of water resistance and the Oris 400 movement developed by Oris, which provides 120 hours of power reserve. Whoa, that's actually insanely good. Ugh, I know, and it gets worse. This watch has a quick set date, so it's very easy to set Kermit, and it has a 10-year warranty via my Oris. Well, that's pretty bad news for you, Oscar, because you won't be seeing any of these come through the trash anytime soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a Hublot event to go to. Are we done here? Yeah, of course. No worries, Oscar. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Deeply misunderstood guy. Okay, so with this watch, I feel like it's not a design or color that's going to be for everyone. And it's not supposed to be. This isn't a mass crowd pleaser like the Pro Pilot X with the navy dial or one of the more standard Aquas models. Design wise, I love the dark titanium against the really crazy dial color. I'd describe it as a light lime green, but the dial color can really change depending on how the light is hitting it. Now looking at the dial layout, it is the exact same as the standard Pro Pilot with the baton indices, brushed hands, 6 o'clock date, and loom on the outer edges and on the hands. 
With the lime green dial and white indices, it can make legibility difficult at times, so that is something to be aware of. The Pro Pilot X feels very industrial and tooly, with the combination of brushing and sandblasting, the angled coin edge, and the angular surfaces on the case. One thing I did notice while borrowing this is it can be a little bit difficult to keep clean. With its angular surfaces and edges, there's some weird spots and grooves that are really hard to get in with just a basic polishing cloth. It's not impossible to clean, just a weird thing I found. Now looking at the bracelet and clasp, I really enjoy this bracelet in the dark titanium with a slight taper. My only real complaint is that there's no micro adjustments available. So it might be a challenge to find your perfect size with the links, or there might be times where you have to add a link or take one out. It is 20 millimeters between the lugs, which is the most standard size for swapping out to different straps. I know the color is pretty bold, but I feel like you could do some really cool strap pairings. As for my personal opinion, I found this to be quite an enjoyable wear. I don't know if I'm just so lost in the fun side of this watch that I don't really care about those practical details I usually get bent out of shape over, like micro adjustments. I don't know, this watch just makes me happy, and isn't that what a timepiece should do? Without getting too wanky or putting too much meaning behind it, this is one of those watches that just revives my optimism and joy in horology. Watch collecting is a hobby that can be unnecessarily earnest and pretentious, and this watch is the exact opposite of that. It is light and fun in an industry that can sometimes take itself a bit too seriously. Seeing Kermit kind of makes me feel like a kid again, in a really good way. Now that I'm old and a grown-up, I find myself looking for things that make me feel like a kid again. We lose our sense of play and our sense of curiosity and adventure. We get into our comfort zones and we know the things we're good at, and we stop trying new things. We stop playing. One of the reasons I fell in love with watches in the first place is because they fill me with awe and wonder at the things humans can make, the engineering that goes behind this analog tool attempting to accurately measure the fourth dimension. Kermit kind of reminds me to never lose that wonder, never lose that joy, and don't take it too seriously. This is meant to be a good time. Anyways, these were just some of my thoughts and Clyde's. And hey, don't forget about me and Oscars. But to be fair, Clyde, I feel like I did all the heavy lifting here. What do you guys think of the Oris Pro Pilot Kermit Edition? Let us know everything, all of your thoughts, feelings, everything in those comments down below. And uh, Clyde is going to thank our patrons.